In this illustration, uh, we intend to simulate the connection of beam to column using end plate bolted connection under a monotonic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, this model is composed of beam, column, end plate, and bolt. In this question, the beam has been connected to the end plate by weld and end plate has been connected to the column using bolts. In this question, a monotonic load is applied to the end of the beam and following that, a moment rotation diagram is drawn. In this picture, the moment rotation diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. In this picture, the formation of the model undergoing a monotonic load is observed. In the last picture, the results obtained from the Abacus software has, have been compared with the experimental results. As it can be observed, there is a good conformity between the Abacus results with those obtained from experimental samples. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Behavior of Stainless Steel Beam to Column Bolted Connections Part 1 Simplified FE Model. In the next step, uh, I will enter end plate into the assembly section and rotate that uh, 90 degrees about X axis. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of bolt into the assembly section. Click on linear pattern, select this bolt, done. Enter offset equal to 70 millimeters. Here select offset equal to 65 millimeters and OK. Here, the end plate and beam are connected together by welding, and the other interactions are defined by a friction coefficient. As described in this article, the friction coefficient is equal to 0.3. I will click on Create Interaction Property, select Contact and Continue. I will click on Mechanical Menu, then select Normal Behavior. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical Menu, then on Tangential Behavior. The friction coefficient is equal to 0.3 and OK. In the next step, I will enter Load Module, click on Create Boundary Condition. Select Displacement Rotation and Continue. I will select the top and bottom sections of the column. Done and close all boundary conditions of displacement for it. 
Here select beam, column and end plate, done. Enter approximate, si approximate global size equal to 10 millimeters and OK. In the next step, I'll select all these six bolts, done, and enter approximate global size equal to 4 millimeters. I will click on assign mesh control, select all the bolts, done, put a logarithm on medial axis and OK. I'll click on mesh part, select these six bolts and done. In this table, you can observe the properties of different parts of the model. First, I intend to define the properties of web. I'll click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic. The young modulus of web is equal to 205,700 megapascal. and the Poisson ratio is equal to 0.3. I will click on mechanical menu, select plasticity and plastic. Yield stress is equal to 263 megapascal. And ultimate stress is equal to 651 megapascal. As you observe, the deformation obtained from the Abacus software is very close to experimental results. And comparing these two pictures, uh, we can clearly realize this matter. In the next step, we intend to draw the moment rotation diagram. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram 
in the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output and continue. I will select all reaction forces. Click on Save As and then add them all up together. I will click on Create XY Data, then on Operate on XY Data and continue. I will select Displacement and divide that by 1470 millimeters and this figure is the distance between the place of loading and column. Here I'll select total force and multiply that by 1.47 meters. In the next step, I'll select combine, first select rotation and then moment. I will put a negative sign here and one here and click on save as. Here you observe moment rotation diagram. I will transfer this diagram to Excel software. The first column is rotation, the unit of which is radian. And the second column is a moment, the unit of which is Newton meter. Here the diagram drawn in red color is the one having been obtained from the Avacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Avacus software are very close to those results mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been simulated properly and correctly 
and the other case software.